On July 4th, 2020, a video was posted to the YouTube channel Soft White Underbelly that would shock the world and make movies like The Hills Have Eyes look less like fiction and more like a documentary. The video, filmed by visual artist Mark Leda, showed a peculiar family of three siblings and their nephew called the Whitakers, living alone in a small rundown shack. Ray, one of the siblings, only communicates through barking and grunting. His older sister Lorraine, who's nearly always silent and unable to formulate words, their younger nephew Timmy, and their third sibling named Betty, who takes care of them all and is the only one of the four that is able to communicate. But this first video only raised more questions as Betty revealed she was one of 15 siblings including Ray and Lorraine who used to live together. And when asked about her family's apparent condition, she said she had no idea what could have caused it. But the, but the, the mental disorder that, that Ray has, what, what is that from? I don't know. I don't know what called. Consequently, the video's release and lack of answers gave rise to internet sleuths and even amateur genealogists who began to investigate the Whitakers. With one user saying, grew up near Odd, when kids wanted a thrill, they would go by the Whitaker's house and harass them. As an amateur genealogist, I was intrigued about their lineage, so I dove in. For anyone else also curious, it seems that the parents of this clan were indeed first cousins. They were first cousins born to identical twins. But despite efforts from sleuths, the Whitaker's family history and background remained a mystery until now. The story starts with two sisters, Mary Perkins and Eliza Perkins, whose children, John I. Whitaker and Ada Whitaker, married. John I. Whitaker had a twin brother, Henry Whitaker, and their children, John Emery Whitaker and Gracie Whitaker, also married, becoming the parents of the 15 siblings. Gracie and John moved to a small rural town called Odd, West Virginia, where they purchased a six-room house on a long, isolated road. John got a job at a nearby coal mine, while Gracie was a stay-at-home mom caring for the 15 children who had, or later developed, a condition. Growing up, the Whitaker kids mostly kept to themselves on their long, isolated road. Most of the Whitaker boys went to school, with some of them graduating high school, but according to Betty, their mom Gracie was very protective of the Whitaker girls and didn't let them go anywhere. Kenneth, one of the older brothers, remembers only bits of their childhood and recalls living in a very messy house with his siblings. I don't know how to see Grace my face. No, but what about growing up as a kid? Oh, we. Who else was there? I don't know what. We don't love that when we were growing up. Growing up wasn't easy for the Whitaker children, as they were constantly mocked and made fun of by their neighbors. They became a source of ridicule and entertainment for the town, with some parents even threatening their disobedient children, saying, If you don't listen, the Whitakers will get you. It would seem that the constant ridicule from the public caused the Whitakers to become more and more isolated, as they began to avoid interacting with others entirely. Betty even recalls how Lorraine, Ray, and Timmy were regulars at the local church, but stopped going when a family made fun of them. They're going to the church. He walked back and Ray was a kid, and Ray was a kid, and he was going to go to church down there. And one family was making fun at him, so he just, he wouldn't go back. Oh, uh, you guys get made fun of sometimes? Yeah. Yeah. As time went on, Gracie Whitaker developed a serious heart condition and was diagnosed with cancer. This left her unable to stand or care for her children, and so Betty, at the age of only 12 years old, took the responsibility of becoming the family caretaker. You were just taking care of the family? Yeah. You've been doing that your whole life? So I took care of the dogs five years old. You took care of what? I took care of the kids at the dogs five years old. I go to school. Come home and care of. Many of the siblings who were self-dependent moved out of the family home, like Kenneth and Larry, who graduated and got married. How are you going to work? Uh, Black and I come to the club, cut the timbers and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. That's nice that you've, you kept it together. And you were married once, right? Yeah, I was married once before. Mm -hmm. As the years went on, Gracie and John passed away, and the only remaining Whitakers in the family home were Betty, Ray, Lorraine, their brother Freddie, and Timmy. 
With the frequent strong storms and occasional tornadoes, the Whitaker's family home broke down and they moved into a smaller trailer that had more rooms added to it later on. What's your dog's name? That's Blackie. Of course it is. <laughs> Where's Timmy stay? And Lorraine? And you? <laughs> oh, you have another bedroom here. Can I peek in? I'm being nosy. So that's where you sleep, Betty? This is your room? Where do you stay? You, oh, you sleep on the sofa? Yeah. That's where you sleep all year long? That's, that's your that's your bedroom right here? Do you guys ever cook? Who, who cooks? Cook, who cooks here? Well, I cook every morning. They can't cook every evening. I learned my new kitchen cabinet, I'm all. But Kenneth cooks for you guys? Huh? Kenneth cooks for you guys sometimes? Yeah. And I bought that new deep freezer. <laughs> money. Oh, your, stock, your fridge is well stocked. <laughs> and I bought that deep freezer. That's what, that's what $30,000 would do for you. <laughs> nice. <laughs> We're getting the whole tour here. <laughs> That's a heater? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you ever take a bath? I saw you in the bath once. I came <laughs> in and you were taking a bath. Their living conditions worsened as Betty, the family caretaker, got older and her siblings' condition started to get worse. Ray, your knee is hurting? <laughs> <laughs> In two follow-up videos on the White Underbelly YouTube channel, the unfortunate living conditions and clear poverty the family was facing was exposed to millions to see. Most of the 15 siblings had passed away, and their small home started falling apart as the roof and ceiling started giving in. The only things keeping them going was Betty's dedication to taking care of her siblings after promising her mother on her deathbed that she will, along with the support of Larry, who lived nearby, and Kenneth, who thankfully returned to live with them. When she called, where to go to the store? Mm -hmm. So you're, you're the one who drives? You're the one who drives? Yeah. Yeah. I'm the one here, God. <laughs> you, and, you and Betty are the... Are the no, I don't think you're right. No, but, but you, you two are the ones who keep everything together. Yeah. Pay the bills, do whatever you need to do. Right? <laughs> I take Betty's store, take her, pay her bills, and all that. But along with the millions of eyeballs curiously watching the Whitakers came thousands of helping hands ready to give. See, aside from the curiosity and questions Mike's videos raised, they gave a candid look at the life of a normal family that was ostracized by society and turned into a roadside attraction. There you go. <laughs> Grab a melon. <laughs> <laughs> His videos humanize the family, showing that Ray, Lorraine, and Timmy are just regular people with their own thoughts and emotions, but stuck in a mind and body with limitations. We came to see Ray's talkative and engaging personality as he communicates with Mike and shows him around the house, showing him the garden and where they had buried his brother, Freddie. I paid $405. Oh, oh, hold on, what happened? You got an accident here? He hit a deer. He hit a deer? Yeah. Larry did? Larry did. <laughs> yeah, I see. Your garden's over here. Show me the garden. You want to show me? <laughs> we saw Timmy's sense of humor and love for drawing, writing, and coloring. That's what he wrote to. Let me see. Timmy Whittaker. Timmy Whittaker. Timmy, what are you doing? Baba. Is that a crossword puzzle? No! We saw Lorraine, though the quietest of the siblings, keeping Betty company and helping her out, with Betty even saying, I wouldn't know what to do without her. 
And finally, we saw Betty, who despite her age and medical difficulties, continues to keep her promise to her mother to take care of the family. Now I see, Betty, how you have to do all the work. Nobody's helping you. <laughs> no one helps you. You're, you're, you're pushing and pulling carts. Since the posting of the videos, the Whitakers have won over the hearts of millions who collectively donated over $45,000 towards a GoFundMe created by Mark on behalf of the family, which they used to renovate their house. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe because I'll be posting at least twice per week. See ya.